to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today I'm going to be just starting off this vlog. I have no idea, you know, how much reading I'm actually going to get done. My last weekly vlog went very, very well. However, that being said, you know, I'm reading some chunky books right now. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get read, but I'm going to do my best. You hear Ryan in the background? He's in his swing, so uh, just ignore that. But um, I'm going to just start off this vlog. I think that this vlog is going to turn a little bit more into lifestyle than um, than reading because I'm really going to use this vlog to try to motivate me to clean my house. <laughs> Listen, um, mom life is hard and I am drowning in things that need to get done around the house. I have laundry I have to do. I need to clean up the mess that is my tables. I have clothes that have been sitting on the couch for God knows how long. Um, there's clothes in Orion's crib that needs to be folded, like, my room is a mess, the book room's a mess, like, literally, my life is a mess. I still have Christmas decorations up, yeah, it's February, I don't know, like, 13th, uh, yeah, and I still have Christmas decorations up. So, that's gonna be my goal for this week, so uh, hopefully I can get some reading done. However, that being said, the two books that I'm reading at the moment are not conducive to just audiobook listening, so I might have to pick something else. Um, I, one of them doesn't have an audiobook, the other one, I cannot listen to the audiobook solely, so... The first book that I'm reading is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. I am currently on page 158. I'm reading this physically. I am tabbing and highlighting and all of that fun stuff. I am enjoying this book uh, a lot more than I thought that I was going to. I thought I was really going to dislike it because of the way that it's marketed. However, that being said, I'm still having a good time. It's hard to read. It's frustrating to read because these characters really do do everything that they can to hurt each other. So basically this follows BJ Valentine and Magnolia Parks and they dated for five years um, or six years as they were growing up and BJ ended up cheating on Magnolia and since then they are still very close. They sleep in each other's beds every night. They are constantly skirting around each other in a relationship with each other but they're not actually together. So BJ sleeps with other people and Magnolia dates other people just to hurt each other and it's a constant vicious cycle of that with their friend group that is very much at the center of their relationships. They're all very close to their friends, but their their friends get caught in the crossfire of their relationship constantly over and over and over again. Um and it's just interesting. It's a very compelling read, um but also a very frustrating read, but I just can't help but pick it up. And some of the one-liners in this book are absolutely stunning, gorgeous, wonderful. I mean, I literally cannot tell you how many times I have misty got, got misty-eyed in this book, and I'm only 150 pages in. Like, some of the lines in here are just spectacular. And then I'm reading Babel by Arv Kwong. Uh, I am 104 pages into this one, and y'all, I just don't know. I don't know if this is going to be for me. I'm going to continue to give it a try because I have two gorgeous copies of this book, and I want to love it. I do. I want to love it, but I just don't know if it's going to be for me, so... Uh, I'm not even going to try to explain the synopsis of that one because I genuinely cannot. I do not know. I, I know the gist of it. I understand the gist of it, but I don't know how to synopsize it for you. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to try to read that one and see how it goes. I have to read that one physically alongside though. So I think I might maybe pick up um, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole and just listen to that one while I clean around the house. Again, not really sure, but that's my plan for this week. I'll bring you guys along. Hopefully it's fun and entertaining and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. go out and face the cold but it's a really good time for a monologue can't let this pass i find it hard to breathe time is up the bell has rang and it's really hard to understand but losing you now is the only choice for me Hello friends, I just wanted to come on here and give you an update. I need to be quick because I'm pretty sure my son is waking up. I just put him down for a nap, but he does not want to sleep. So uh, I'll be quick, but I also picked up a few books that I wanted to show you. And I also got one in the subscription box, so I figured I would show it to you. I'm not going to open the full box, but I did get um, Spice Road by Maya Ibrahim. 
Um, and this sounds like it's going to be a really interesting, lush fantasy. Um, it says, whoever controls the spice controls the kingdom itself. It sounds like it's going to be um, a very interesting book. It has to do with siblings and the love they have for each other. And um, I don't know, it just looks like it's going to be a really good book. That's what the end papers look like. It's also really gorgeous underneath and has a reversible dust jacket. Um, I think yeah, the same on both sides, but oh no, they're not. They're different. Let's see. I mean, it's just stunning. It's literally absolutely stunning. I love the cover of this. I also love the ombre on the on this book, but uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. So I figured I would show you guys that. And then I did pick up two books when I was at Target yesterday, just cause, cause I have zero self-control. Um, the first one I picked up was Radiant Sin by Katie Robert. This is the fourth book in the Dark Olympus series. This one is a Apollo and Cassandra retelling. I had currently been, I had recently been caught up with the series, uh, but I am now, I now need to read this one in order to get caught up. And I believe she's releasing one more book in the series this year. So need to get on top of that. And then, I don't read a lot of manga, but I've heard such good things about the series that I decided to give it a shot, and that is Spy Family. Why does Target do this? This is not funny, okay? <laughs> it's not funny, but I'm very excited to give this a go. I believe it has to do with a guy who has to get married, and when he gets married, he ends up marrying an assassin. That Not that he knows. He ends up marrying an assassin, and then they adopt a little child, a little girl, and their adopted child is a telepath. So it sounds like it's going to be a fun time. I'm excited to give it a go. Uh, it's short. Uh, I am nervous though if I like this one. There are a lot of volumes of this already, so I could be putting myself in, in jeopardy here, but I'm excited to give that one a go. And then my reading update that I forgot to mention yesterday when I started this video was that I was reading Grip by Kennedy Ryan. I said I was going to listen to um, When No One Is Watching, and I tried to listen to that one. I just, I needed to read along physically. I couldn't really hear the audiobook very well, so um, I ended up picking up Grip by Kennedy Ryan and finishing that one yesterday, and oh, Oh my god, I love Kennedy Ryan, and I love this series so much. I am terrified to read the last book in the series, which is still, um, but I am terrified to read it because I feel like everyone that's talked about it has said that they have just sobbed in the third book, and I'm just not emotionally ready for that, I don't think, because I love these characters so much. This one follows Bristol and Grip. Grip is a, well, in the very first book, it's a novella. Grip is an up-and-coming rapper. He writes um, music for other people, but he really wants to be his own um he wants to be a rapper. He wants to do his own thing. Um, and then you have a Bristol who has a very estranged relationship with her brother who used to be a prodigy, like, pianist. He is, you know, very good at what he does, but he has a very estranged relationship with his parents because his parents really pushed his career um, into things that they wanted it to be and weren't really um, mindful of his, their son and his needs. Um, and so you meet up with Bristol and grip grip picks her up from the airport because her brother is off doing things for his job and it's a relationship between the two of them in a very short time span it's a week spent together but they have such an intense connection and they fall in love with each other but they are ripped apart for reasons that i will not divulge and then in grip which is the full-length novel you pick up i believe eight years later and they are trying to rekindle their romance well grip is and bristol is highly against it and it's a very beautiful romance so far i'm very very nervous for book three but um i'm gonna be reading that one it just came through the, li through the library but i'm not gonna read it just yet um I have not been able to pick up don't mind my candy on top I have not been able to pick up Babel or Magnolia Parks but um since I've been doing some ebook reading I was listening to the audiobook of Reckless Memories which is the first book in the Rex series uh the third book came up on my TBR jar, jar pool for my bingo I decided to go back and read book one even though they are interconnected standalones but I, I want to read the first book in the series so I swapped out that book but this follows a girl named Belle and her best friend. His name is Ford. Um, Ford happens to be dating Belle's sister, and they are very, very close. They have a great relationship. All three of them are just like their thickest thieves, and then something really tragic happens to um, Belle's family, and Ford ends up leaving, and she feels very betrayed by that, and uh, it is years later, and he is back in town, and it is a friends to enemies to lovers romance um i'm i'm very very much enjoying it it's not as good as kath and cal's other book which i really enjoyed that was um tattered stars um i feel like they're very similar in regards to the concept of the book and the overall overall overarching theme that the book has however um 
I'm still enjoying it. It's not a bad book, but it's not as good as her first one that I've read. However, that being said, I'm still very much looking forward to finishing it up. I am about 64% of the way through, so really close to the end. So I'm going to try to finish that up today. If my son will go down for a nap, I'm going to try to read more of Mag Magnolia Parks or Babel, but I'll give you an update when I have one. So I'll talk to you guys later. Minutes ago, you were still mine. Feels like I'm drifting too far from the line. When you left, your final word believes The following weeks, I'd understand I will never be that close to someone again The further I go, the closer you will feel you love when you hammer in an entire backing for the bookshelf and realize you hammer in the wrong side? Why didn't I think of this? Why didn't it, it click? Mom brain is for real. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that didn't go as planned. Get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life on one. Let's drive to the open air 
Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah! Okay, so I ended up just ripping the thing off the back. So it has no backing, but... Oh yeah, you tell but um, I made more space, more space for myself. I did have to move some books off because this doesn't have the same like spacing as my other bookshelves do. But I moved all of my like YA and traditionally published romances over here, other than um, the ones that are currently in a series. But that's just everything else. Um, and then this is going to be pretty much strictly dark romance, fantasy romance, and then I have like my Colleen Hoover's and traditionally published romance books that are in a series at the very very bottom. So I gave myself two three and a half more shelves space so i'll take it so far so good i'm liking it but um the struggle is real and maybe if things get really really bad i'll add one more bookshelf in there but my goal is to not have to do that we'll see though uh there's just so many self-published and dark romances that i want to get i don't have space for it Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Okay. 
Hello friends, I just figured I would come on here and give you an update um, before I get on the road. I just left um, the little coffee shop that I decided to stay at for the day. I dropped my son off at my mother-in-law's house. She watches him every Friday. Um, and so I got like six hours to myself, which is so fantastic. And I am so grateful that they watch him because I needed a little me time. This has been a crazy week, but it's been a while since I updated you, updated you on reading. So I figured I would share that with you. Um, for the time that I was in there, I edited and then, um, I think I, no, I think, I don't I think I had B-roll of the third book, but you guys know I'm reading it. Um, I did read three books while I was there. I didn't finish anything, but got some progress into some of them. So first I picked up Babel by R.F. Kuang and I, R.F. Kong, R.F. Kuang, I don't know how to say that last name. Um, I'm now on page 170, um, and I still don't know how I feel about it. I... Don't know if I, I don't think I want to DNF it because I think I want to get to the end and see if everything will fall into place once I get to the end of this book. That being said, I'm confused. I, I don't really know the purpose of it. I get the message that the author's trying to say because it's very extensively hammered in um, to the writing and it's about colonialism and um, how translation really affects um, colonialism as a whole. But I am not quite sure I understand the overall purpose of reading this book. Uh, but I'm going to continue to read it. I want to read R.F. Kong's other series, so hopefully maybe I'll like that one more. It's a bit more action-packed. I believe it's a little less um, pretentious, I should say. But I'm not hating it. I'm just not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Um, and then I got up to page 60-something into Jade War by Fonda Lee, and it's picking right off that right off oh my god it's picking right up where we left off in jade what is the word i'm trying to say what's the first book jade city fuck me my brain's just broken now um and i mean there was a time jump but it's basically the same stuff we're still dealing with this political war that's going on and um them trying to contain and control um the section of of KCON where they where they live so uh it's interesting I'm liking it so far it is very political it's very slow and I'm very interested to see um what she's going to do with the rest of the series and where it's going and kind of what we're moving towards because I don't really quite know that just yet and then I read up to page one uh seven one sixty one yeah one sixty of I'm sorry two sixty of Magnolia Parks so I'm more than halfway through that one and I'm enjoying it it's very toxic it's very hard to read um because I want so bad for these characters to have the love that is so clearly possible for them but they just keep fucking it up they just keep fucking it up and I know that this book doesn't have an HEA so it makes it even harder to read because you know that these characters aren't going to be happy by the end of this book but that being said, it's so compelling to read. Like, there's just so much about these characters and this group of characters that makes you want to continue to pick up the book, even though nothing good is happening for them, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying that one, but it is very hard to read. Um, but there's so many fucking good lines in this book that I'm just like, why? I've never written in a book before. This is the first book that I've ever written and highlighted in, and I'm honestly having a great time. It's taking me a lot longer because I'm reading it physically, um, but I'm getting there. So, it's a start. Um, and then I, um, put up a video today, did some more back and forth, and then, um, I also started editing a video that I filmed yesterday. I didn't get it finished because I'm adding in a lot of pictures and it's taking a little bit more time than I was expecting. It's only a 15 minute <laughs> video and I've already been editing it for, I don't know, almost over an hour. So yeah, anyways, that is my current update. I'm going to go take something back to, uh, Amazon. Well, I'm going to go to Amazon Fresh so I can drop off an Amazon delivery that we got that was wrong, and then I'm going to go pick up my son. So maybe I'll sell it Barnes & Noble if I have a little bit of time, since I'm supposed to pick him up at 6.30. So we'll see. I will, um, I'll give you an update when I have one. I've been staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for Vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? i
got nothing left And I know there's so much more to this life But it's hard to see Good afternoon, friends. It is Sunday. I haven't talked to you in a few days. Um, I have gotten some re reading done. I haven't finished anything else, but I figured I would come on here and give you an update on my reading. Um, I have been around the house cleaning today, and while I was cleaning, I read, I don't know, like 150 pages of Jade War by Fonda Lee, and um, sorry, I felt like very abruptly I needed a wine break, <laughs> and I am really enjoying it. I am 64% of the way through, and maybe 70, I'm not sure. I still have a, a little ways to go, but I'm enjoying it. It's definitely very political. This one is a little bit more action-packed, though, um, than I was expecting. We've had um, quite a few betrayals and some new things learned about the core people of the community and I'm really intrigued to see where it's going to go. I'm hoping that I continue to enjoy it. I think it's going to be maybe around the same rating as the last one. I give the last one four stars so maybe four four point five. I'm enjoying it. It's just not like a I don't know I'm still trying to get used to adult fantasy in its entirety and like how to truly enjoy it when sometimes I feel like the complexity of adult fantasy kind of goes over my head. But I also started um, Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I am only on chapter five. I don't know how far into it I am. I haven't checked the physical book, but um, I did start that as well. And I'm really liking that one so far. Kennedy Ryan has, what? That was weird. Kennedy Ryan has a really wonderful way of writing stories that make you automatically feel for her characters. And I feel like this one is no exception. Um, this one follows a married couple, Josiah and Yasmin, and they have well, they're not married, they're divorced now. They have two kids, and um, it's a story about kind of what broke them apart, what led to their divorce, but also a rekindling of their marriage and them getting back together. I've heard this is a little bit more women's fiction, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, it does have a very like long list of triggers at the very beginning of the book, so I know it's going to be a hard-hitting one. I'm expecting to shed some tears, but hopefully I really enjoy that one. And then I also started When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole, and um i only got maybe like four chapters into that one i have tried now twice to pick it up and it's not seeming to hold my attention i don't really know where it's going but i'm gonna try continue to try to give it a go since i only have like four days left on the audiobook for that so we'll see i'll give you an update when i have one but i'm gonna finish drinking my wine finish cleaning up his nursery possibly start working on my bedroom to clean and i'll give you an update when i have one if not i will come back to close out this vlog Hi friends, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick Owl Crate Jr. unboxing. Um, Owl Crate does send me their boxes free for review, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. It is a very cute box, so I'm excited to share the items. I did already open it up, so I'm just going to go through everything. We have a tea here from Riddle's Tea Shop. This uh, says spell Spellorium Anti-Hex Blend. It's peppermint and chocolate, so I'm excited to give that a try. Then here it says, help bring a little magic to your neighborhood with these wooden fairy doors. This kit includes all the pieces you'll need to build two secret doors. You'll supply, you supply the glue and the creativity attached to any tree or nook that you think could use a dash of magic. So it comes like a little in plastic, so I'm not gonna un, I'm not gonna take it out to show you, but it is a cute little set. I'm sure my siblings will enjoy that quite a bit. And hopefully I can give it to them soon so they can use their creativity for that one. It also came with this really cool pen. So I do love a good pen. Pens just, they make me happy. Um, I, yeah, this is a pen, right? Yeah. Um, and it's just, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, what are these things called? <laughs> I don't know, I used to use them a lot when I was a kid, but I like the fact that they put it in a pen form and I will not be give, giving this to my siblings because pens make me happy. And this one, especially because it's just so fun to play with. Then we have a pen that has the book title on it and it's The Grace of Wild Things. We also have a recipe grim grimoire um, that you can put the recipes that they're starting to put in their um, boxes. They did put this all in upside down, but um, you have like a little 
plastic thing to put anything you want in here and then um, the ingredients that you need and you can just add them in which is super cute so love that and then we also have a lunch tote that they came, that came in the box I don't know what this is inspired by but it's very cute it gives me fall vibes which I'm not mad at and then finally we have the book as well as the theme for next month and the theme for next month is family ties and the book <clears throat> this month is the grace of wild things this is a beautiful beautiful cover love the spine on that as well and that's the back and then there is nothing underneath the dust jacket i don't believe but it is a really pretty book on the spine there beautiful colors love this this is by heather fawcett um and this says grace has never been good at anything except magic not that anyone believes her while other children are adopted from the orphanage nobody wants grace she, so she decides to make a home for herself by running away and offering herself as an apprentice to a witch in the nearby woods after all who's better to teach grace to use her magic surely the witch can't be that bad but the witch is that bad she steals souls for spells and gobbles up hearts so grace offers a deal if she can learn all 100 and a half spells in the witch's grimoire the witch will make grace her apprentice but if grace fails the witch can take her magic the witch agrees and soon an unexpected bond develops between them but the spells are much harder than grace expected and when a monster from the witch's past threatens the home grace has built she may have to sacrifice more than her magic to save it inspired by anna Pre gambles this is a magical story of found family loss and the power of a girl's imagination so that sounds really cute it did come with another um recipe this month if it'll focus so there's the recipe it also came with a note from the author as well as a signed book plate so that is the box this month let's just quickly go over the spoiler card the lunch tote is inspired by kiki's delivery service the recipe is inspired by love sugar magic the tea is inspired by the apprentice witch the pen is um designed by the owl crate team so is the magical fairy doors and then the grimoire is not inspired by anything in particular. So that's the box. I'm going to finish cleaning up this room, maybe get some more reading done, but I will chat with you guys in a little. Hi friends, I just wanted to come on here and close out this vlog um, and give you my final updates. I didn't finish too much during this week. However, that being said, I still made a lot of reading progress. It's just, I'm in the process of reading some very chunky books and you know, it'd be like that. Sometimes it's just a slower week. So I'm going to talk about the two books that I finished that I don't own, and then we'll get into the one I finished that I do own, and then everything that I worked on this week. So the first book that I read and finished um, this week was Grip by Kennedy Ryan, the second book in the Grip series. Um, the first one being a novella. The second one, second one that I read was a full-length novel, and I loved, love, love this book. I love Kennedy Ryan's writing and her progression of characters and the arcs that these characters go through in order to get to where they are in the end, and I'm very excited to read the third and final book in the series i'm sad that it's going coming to an end i'm scared because it's supposed to be super emotional but i've heard nothing but good things about the third book and i cannot wait to see the progression of these characters stories and their relationship together and i'm just i'm scared so bristol and grip are one of my favorite characters that i have read from kennedy ryan so hopefully i am not disappointed although everything i read from her is five out of five stars so i don't think i will be and then I read Reckless Memories by Catherine Cowles, and this is the first book in the Wrecked series. And I enjoyed this. It wasn't bad by any means, but having already read a Catherine Cowles book, it felt very similar to um, the book that I had read previously, which was Tattered Stars. Um, it's romantic suspense in a small town. Um, these characters are dealing with um, a past relationship that they have already previously had, and it kind of got... Mm, muddled um they definitely had like the same type of dynamic for the romantic suspense aspect of the book too um it was enemies to lovers so it's like it's it was very similar and so I felt a little bit like bored by the story because I kind of already knew where it was going that being said I still want to read more Catherine Cowles because I've heard nothing but good things about the continuation of her series but this one wasn't my favorite I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars it wasn't bad by any means but um just it felt very repetitive to me and then the only other book that I finished this week was Better Than Fiction by uh, Alexa Martin I don't know if I told you that I finished this but I did finish it and I loved it I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars the only reason it didn't give a full 5 stars is because I didn't love the conflict 
and I didn't love the miscommunication around the conflict. But other than that, I really enjoyed this. Um, I feel like this book is not going to be very timely though. This is one of those books that very heavily focuses on pop culture um, as a part of the story, and I don't think that like reading it later on when think these things are no longer as relevant is going to be, you know, as fun and exciting. It was fun to see them uh, as they are in the story, but I feel like this story is going to feel very dated when people read it later on in life when these people aren't as popular. Like BTS was mentioned and Taylor Swift was mentioned and uh, Tith and Jenkins Reid and like all of these like very prolific people are talked about in this book and I feel like it's going to feel a little bit dated um, when and if that becomes a problem. I don't think it's a big problem at all, but I just noticed how much pop culture was written into the story, which just made me think of that. So I enjoyed it. I liked the characters. I think that they were very good together. However, the conflict just wasn't for me. And then the other books that I have started but have not finished, um, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. I am currently 100 pages into this one, and I'm enjoying it. It's not bad. I like Alyssa Cole's Alyssa why can't I say her name? Alyssa Cole's writing, so I will definitely try out her romance because I think her writing is spectacular, but I don't know if this thriller is going to be for me, so I'm going to continue to read that. I also started Before I Let Go, but I remember that I'm not supposed to talk about this one in this video because it's going for a different video, so you will not see this one in my next vlog, but stay tuned for a video where I talk about all of this, but I am five chapters in on page 60, so enjoying this one. I'm also reading Jade War by Fonda Lee. I am now 436 pages in. I'm well into this book and I'm really enjoying it. I listened to about 200 pages yesterday um, and I just read another like 30 pages this morning and still enjoying it, still very politically focused. I'm definitely intrigued to see where the story is going to go. I have some theories about these characters that I'm scared about so hopefully I enjoy this one uh, up until the end but we'll see. Still reading Magnolia Parks. I'm on page 267. Again, enjoying this one, but it's taking me a little while to get through. And then, of course, Babel by R.F. Kuang. I am on page um, 173. So a good way through this one as well, but not even close to finishing anything. So uh, finished three books. Have been working on, what, five more? So <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Good amount of reading done. That's good, but uh, I just haven't finished as much as I really would have wanted to. All of these, except for one, are on my TBR for this month, so I do need to finish these up uh, so I can have a successful, uh, what's it called? What am I talking about? Successful February. Uh, but I still have three more books on my TBR that I haven't even started, so we'll see. Um, but that is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a Ferris wheel emoji. A Ferris wheel, is there a Ferris wheel emoji? If there is, leave it. If not, leave some type of carnival emoji, like popcorn or like, I don't know, something along those lines, a roller coaster. Um, it just reminds me of my five-star read, which is Grip by Kennedy Ryan. So, but if you made it to the end of this video, leave one of those emojis down in the comments below to let me know that you made it to the end if you don't feel like commenting and anything else. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Nice, baby. Turn it down,